Hey guys, it's me, Saren, back with another video. Um, this video is actually going to be kind of different. I was just on Twitter and I was um, sending out some tweets just about, you know, just some real positive stuff because I know a lot of people are in a bad place right now um, because of this whole Sandra Bland situation. I'll include links for anyone that wants to read up about that, but I'm sure for the most part we all know what happened there. Um, so I was sending out these tweets and just a lot of people were retweeting and like favoriting. So I'm going to read some of them and then I'm just going to, you know, pretty much say in this video what I was tweeting because these are thoughts that I really have all the time. And I feel like, you know, it's probably good for me to record it so that if you guys are ever, you know, feeling down or, you know, just bad and shitty, you can maybe watch this video and feel better. So, um, I'm going to start with the one tweet that started it all was, Black people are exceptional, America is not. And that was not my tweet. That was by, um, at Brittany D. Writes. I kind of, that tweet just kind of like got me going. I said, we are exceptional that we even managed to be here right now. The entire American system, our entire way of life, our entire society is designed for black people to fail. The fact that we don't is mind-boggling. Far from being proof that racism no longer exists, black excellence is proof that we are exceptional beings with the ability to rise above. Imagine what we could accomplish if the system, and by that I mean the system of white supremacy, if the system was dismantled, that is what racists are really afraid of. If we do this well with a system designed to murder, incarcerate, and enslave us, what could we do on a truly level playing field? That is the question that has racists shaking in their boots. And then a friend of mine, uh, Adam, at Prime Discussion replied, Black resilience is a superpower. What we've been able to accomplish in spite of X, Y, and Z is truly astonishing. And it just also reminded me of something that I heard Kid Fury say recently on one of his, you know, the Reed podcasts, where he said, if white people went through even a tenth of what we go through, they would have cracked the planet in half already. I said, you know, they're weak. White people are weak. That's why they have to have a whole system in place to try to dominate you, because they're weak and you're strong you're strong you're stronger than they are okay you are stronger than they are and then we kept on you know the irony of the system is that it further breeds white fragility there's that term again white fragility finding out achievement isn't ti closely tied to merit really fucks with their heads and it's part of why they get so ridiculously emotional when confronted with facts and history and what that means is that White fragility and white privilege have led white people to believe that everything they have, they have it because they deserve it. Not because they fucking murdered and, you know, created these systems and basically ruined the world to get what they wanted. They, they just feel like, no, it's because we're smarter. It's because we deserve it. It's because of this, because of that. No, it's because you guys are fucking evil human beings because you're evil. That's why, you know. And then I said, you know, it's also really ironic because white people are always complaining about black, you know, athleticism. And, you know, they crack all these jokes about, you know, oh, black people this, black people that. They run fast. They this, they that. Look at all the fucking fervor that's been going around recently about Serena Williams and her body and her shape and her athleticism. They can't put a grasp on that. But if you really stop and think about it, it makes sense. For centuries, white people made black people do everything for them. It's not really that far-fetched that we would grow stronger as they grew weaker, okay? And that really is what, you know, got me into the, you know, the, the meat and potatoes in my tweets, which is what people, you know, really seem to like. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I said, that's also why I hate it when people say, don't call us descendants of slaves. You are the descendant of a slave if, you know, nine times out of ten, if you are a black American in this country. You are the descendants of people that made it through a holocaust. Through a holocaust. Through the deliberate destruction of a people, of a culture, of a language, of our names. You know, you, if you are watching this video right now and you are, a, you know, a black American, you made it. Your people made it through hell. 
They made it through being kidnapped from their homeland. They made it through the Middle Passage where they were chained to one another in filth and blood and urine. They, you know how many boats sank during the Middle Passage? Hundreds and thousands of lives that were lost. You know how many slaves revolted during the Middle Passage and sunk the ships themselves? You know how many slaves just leapt overboard and they said, fuck this, we not doing this shit and, and you know, killed themselves? You, your people made it through that. If you are here right now in 2015 or, you know, whenever watching this video, your people made it through that. They, they made it through the Middle Passage. Your people made it to America. They made it past the auction block. They made it to the plantation. They made it through being worked harder than we could ever imagine every minute of every day. And some of Dr. Joy DeGrasse's lectures, she talks about how there's this, there was this thing where the slaves would literally be worked to the bone, right? That's not just the saying. Worked so hard that their muscles literally, literally separated from their bones. That's how hard white people worked our people. They literally worked them to the bone until they just dropped dead. If you are here right now reading this, reading this, if you're, that's what I wrote on Twitter. If you're here right now watching this video, your people made it through that. So they made it through that. They didn't, they didn't die. They haven't died yet through all of that. They made it through medical and, you know, scientific experimentations with no anesthesia, getting, you know, getting cut up and sliced up. They made it through getting raped over and over. They made it through, you know, the most horrific conditions, things that we can't even imagine, you know. They made it through chattel slavery. They made it through that if you're watching this video right now, okay? They made it through the American Civil War, the deadliest war on American soil. They made it through that. And then post-Civil War, the domestic terrorism, the violence, the era of lynchings, when thousands of Black people were killed. Those are bloodlines that are gone, gone forever. If you are watching this video right now, you made it. Your people made it. They made it through Jim Crow. They made it through segregation and integration, desegregation, you know. They made it through getting hit with water hoses. They made it through getting terrorized. They made it through whole cities getting burned down, getting burned to the ground by white people. They made it through getting spat on, called names, called nigger, threatened. They made it through that. For you to be a black American watching this right now, you made it. Your bloodline made it. You are exceptional. You are a miracle. You should not be here. You shouldn't even be here. Entire systems have been built with the express purpose of destroying you. Yet here you are. You're here. You're here. And you're, you know, you're flourishing. We're flourishing. Black women have the lowest suicide rate of any demographic in this country. The, the United States military actually launched an initiative to try to find out why the suicide rates with, with black women were so low because they were trying to figure out how to get American soldiers to stop killing themselves, okay? You, you know, black women are the fastest growing small business owners, you know? You guys know how I feel about black owned businesses, you know? You, you made it, you made it. You made it. You are here. Literally, entire systems, racism and white supremacy, redlining to keep you in the ghetto, Eurocentric curriculum to brainwash you, Eurocentric unfair media to brainwash you. Everything in your life has been designed for you to fail, black men and black women. Yet, here you are, excelling, thriving. The fact that we have a black president even though I know how a lot of you guys feel about that, but just really even just the symbolism of that in this country that was built on the back of slaves and still has self-sustaining systems in place to destroy you is amazing. You, you're here. You made it. You're exceptional. Black exceptionalism is real. It is a thing. You are powerful beyond measure. And that is why they have these systems. They had to build these systems to try to keep this fucking dominance over you. Because you are, are, are magic. Black people are magic. We literally defy logic. Okay? If white people went through even a tenth of what we go through, they'd be shooting up schools and blowing their fucking brains out. I saw this really great Meek Mill interview, which I know just sounds so random. 
where they were asking him about mental illness. And, you know, they were asking him about Dylan Roof and shit like that. And he goes, you have kids in the hood, black kids in the hood, that are growing up traumatized. They're growing up with mental illness. They're growing up with all types of trauma from shit that they're seeing in the hood every day. Nobody fucking said, nobody uses that as an excuse for them. Nobody says mental illness and trauma and PTSD for them. And black kids still aren't walking into schools and fucking shooting them up and killing 20 people in one person, killing 20 people in one go. White male rage is a thing. White males between the age of 18 and 35 only make up 32% of our country, yet they are 75% of the mass killings. You are exceptional. You are beating a system designed to destroy you. You are rising above a system designed to destroy you. I don't care if you're fucking working at McDonald's. I don't care if you're fucking stripping. I don't care what you're doing. The fact that you are alive right now is amazing. The fact that you are alive right now as a black person in this country is a fucking miracle. Because this system is designed to kill you, to murder you, to incarcerate you, to to enslave you through the prison industrial complex. You are a miracle that you're even here right now watching this video, okay? And I just want you guys to, to really, really know that and understand that. And know that for these people, they're shaking in their boots because the day is coming. The day is coming when this fucking system is going to get dismantled. It's coming. It's fucking coming. You know? So just, you know, try to hold on to that when you're feeling like shit's never going to end, you know? Try to hold on to the fact that no matter what, you are exceptional and you have the ability and you are, you are the ability. You are a miracle. You are operating outside of this system. You are thriving outside of this system designed to destroy you. You are, you, you are made of something that they can't even co- begin to comprehend or understand. And I really, truly, 100% mean that. And I believe that in every fiber of my being, because history has shown us already that Black people are made of something that that is special, that is unique. Um, so I just wanted to make this video. Hope you guys find some solace, solace in this video. Um, and you know, just moving forward, we have to come together and you know really recognize that we are fucking fantastic. We are fucking fantastic. We are, we are bigger and better than this fucking fucked up ass system that is trying to fucking destroy us with these public lynchings, fake ass suicides, hangings, with these police shootings. It's all public lynchings. It's all meant to fucking scare us, to frighten us, to lower our morale, to make us feel like, you know, we don't matter and we're being terrorized by this government and by the system, but you fucking matter. You matter. You are strong. Never forget that you are a miracle. The fact that you are even here right now is exceptional, and you are exceptional. And I just wanted to say that to everybody, um, all the black people that watch these videos. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.